What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here, and today we are continuing with our 2024 NFL Draft Film Room Series, taking a look at Duke offensive lineman Graham Barton and whether or not the rare positional flexibility label is warranted. Now, Graham Barton currently listed 6'5 and 3'8", 313 pounds, 32 and 7 8 inch arm length, was an all-time tester at the guard position, third overall, 999 RAS, 97th percentile, 40, a 98th percentile, 10-yard split, 98th percentile, three cone, and a 92nd percentile short shuttle. Now, he also has a 9.85 RAS at tackle. So he's a great athlete no matter the position. And you see a little bit of flexibility in where he played in college, most of his snaps at left tackle, but did start his career out playing center. So that's why teams you know, are potentially carrying that positional flexibility label with him 10 sacks and 50 pressures allowed in his career on 1278 opportunities and just four sacks and 21 pressures allowed the last two seasons of his career now let's dive into the film room and take a look at barton's overall skill set and where he might project best at the next level all right guys here we go to the film room taking a look at graham barton there's plenty to like in terms of both phases of the game but i think you'll see that there are some things where you go yeah, maybe it's projected best at guard or center. So we'll start with the run game here. He does a nice job in terms of rolling the hips, and he does a great job being able to, to unlock the ability to drive. But you do see him get off balance sometimes. But this is just impressive control and coordination where Fist kind of tosses him a little bit, but he's able to recover and, and latch on to a second-level defender. That's an extremely extremely difficult task when you get tossed aside to be able to have that type of balance control and coordination to get back up and, and get to a second level block that is impressive here you're going to see him just unlock the hips generate some drive and hang on enough where he gets jared verse on the ground really impressive reach block here against aurora row from clemson he has that level of quicks to, to handle himself in the zone blocking game. And here, just a really nice rep of, again, he's got good positioning, right? He's he's the low man. We got good leverage. We're able to unlock, sustain, and drive the defender over here way out of the play. Now, you see some really good second level work as well, right? Quick, out of the stance. Easily gets to a second level landmark, no problem, and is able to sustain the block long enough. Same thing here against Florida State where, again, his responsibility is second-level defender, latch on, generate you know the right leverage for the running back to attack downhill, able to do so there. In a nice combo block, can you combo with the guard and climb to the second-level defender? Absolutely. Sustain the block long enough. No problem for him. And that's, that's really, you know, just showing off the athleticism right that the testing numbers it shows up functionally on film another good rep of him just unlocking with the hips driving a player way out of the play show a little bit of, of that nasty side as well as an offensive lineman we like to see that again can you hold the front side of a play yep generate at least a little bit of displacement there which is what we like to see same thing again against against florida state can you just hold the point of attack, right? Just hold the front side of this run. Yep, long enough. And, and look at that. Physicality, block sustainment, and playing with a little bit of an edge. Same thing here against NC State. Playing with a little bit of an edge. We like to see that in terms of road grading, run blocking. Now as a pass protector, there's so much to like, right? The initial quicks, how balanced he is. Right, you, you know, he's in, he's 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 set. He's in a nice stance where, and the defender's basically taking just one step. He hasn't even gotten into the rush, his plan yet. I, I will say Barton does have some wide hands at times, and, and that gets him into some trouble. We'll show that later. But look at look at how balanced he is right here. Good knee bend, good grip strength, and he gives himself some space between him and the defender. Right, he's not upright. He's he's balanced. Right, he's given the space so he doesn't, you know, lose balance, get bull rushed, right? A really solid anchoring position, good knee bend, flat back. Like that's all really, really impressive. You're gonna see that a lot. Again, impressive quicks out of the stance against the linebacker here. Get a good strike on there, drive, stay balanced to change direction, 
and get a player on the ground. Really solid rep there again. Again, it's it's this is defenders in the first step, and and Barton's already in a perfect set, right? He he's just in in really really good position. Sometimes not not always good to drop this this foot, but to anchor, no problem. Good knee bend once again. Out here uh, on the other side of your screen, again good knee bend. We're in good position at contact. This is all as textbook as it gets. Right, and, and just, again, he's anchored. He's got great grip strength. It's all there, right? Good angle, good set and pass protection. Really, really impressive. Once again, he's able to reestablish some balance. He's, re he's giving himself space from the defender. Right, drop anchor, good knee bend. Really impressive technique, and again, with the grip strength there. It, it's, it's hard not to be impressed every time you see him in pass protection. Good vision, gets eyes on, sees defender dropping here, needs to get his eyes on the defensive tackle, does so. But again, I, I do think there is an element here of wide hands that, that has to be addressed, right? You can see it, right? Defender's in tight. Barton's got his arms out wide to kind of catch. But when he does get latched on, you, you see how impressive he is at sustaining block. Drop anchor, drop anchor again, keep space away from you and the defender, Really impressive. Just, just erases people on an island. Can he pick up the late blitzer? Yep, good process. Good athleticism to, to close that space and cut the defender off. How about stunts? Absolutely. Pass off effectively there. Get eyes on the looping defender. Quicks and, and, and the ability to mirror. All highlighted there. Really, really good stuff from Barton. Against Jared Verse, this was the matchup, right? This is this was really the one where you you look to on film and you go, I can't wait to see how he does in this matchup. Verse has a devastating bull rush, so to be able to drop anchor here and hang on and then basically stop the rush in its path, that's a really really strong rep there from Barton against a potential at least fellow first rounder, right? Talking about Barton, depends on where he's going to go. You know, you see some varying um thoughts on that but we know reverse is going again really quick set latch on in, in, in the idea of playing left tackle or right tackle now is if you're going to lose lose slowly and he does so here right he's getting pushed back a little bit but he hangs on long enough with enough power with enough anchoring ability to to let his quarterback get a pass off again hands are wide right that's that's a main issue that you see from barton but He's just so good everywhere else in terms of body control, in terms of technique with his lower half, and the ability to anchor. And again, just impressive balance and quicks and mirroring ability that just, he makes it difficult for everybody opposite him. And again, he gets, defender tries to push pull, good grip strength, great balance, able to absorb that really, really easily. Does a nice job here with, with this uh, tackle and stunt where, okay, punish the defensive tackle. Help your guard out. Give the quarterback a very, very clean pocket. Now, there are some concerns, and, and this is where you go, okay, tackle, guard, what is he? Is he a center, perhaps, where point of attack here in the run game get a little overextended? Not really. He, he really doesn't. It's just the defender has better leverage at the point of attack and Barton ends up on the ground. And that's, that's part of his hands being very, very wide. And, and he does it here. You can, you could see it right there. If you were paying attention, it was tough to see, but see how, see how wide we are. Get your hands in tight and see, he's kind of wrapped around the shoulder pad and he's getting driven back off the ball. It's tough right here again against Braid Fisk where it just feels like he is losing in, in terms of power. Maybe, you know, length gives him a little trouble, but it just seems like in the run game, when his hands get wide, he's not able to drive guys away as consistently as he would if he would get his hands in tighter. And that leads to a lot of these losses at the point of attack. Here against Verse, same thing. Gets push-pulled, hands are too wide. That's That's probably his biggest issue. Uh, in pass protection, just a few things, I think, where 
you know, you, you watch him dip his head a little bit in this rep against Verse. What's impressive, though, is the ability to recover, right? Does a great job. Quicks, balance, coordination, all of it. Just got to be careful dipping your head at contact. This one against Verse as well, just a little bit of, okay, turning your shoulders too far to the sideline too early, and then you get get ran over with a bull rush. You got to be careful in that regard. It didn't show up very much, just really right there in, in three games of play that, that we're kind of sampling here. This last one is, is a, a similar thing, though, where the hands are just too wide, and you know when, when you have inside positioning as an edge rush, you're able to chop like, like Verse does here and, and get off of a block. So for Graham Barton, I think there's a chance that he sticks out there at tackle because I think you see a lot of what you want to see the tackle position in terms of the initial quicks, the mirroring ability, the grip strength, the anchor, the body positioning, good leverage, good knee bend. All the technique is there except for the hand usage. You see him trying to loop his arms around, right? He's almost catching guys rather than delivering an initial strike. And if he gets that down... I think tackle is well within the realm of possibility for him, right? But you see him get wide hands in the run game, and that's a that's a concern as well, right? Losing the point of attack, you just have to get, work on hand placement in both phases of the game, and I think you're going to see a really, really complete player who might be able to play all five spots because of the quicks, the, the agility, all the functional athleticism that goes into pass protection, that goes into the run game, especially zone blocking. It's all there for Barton. So I'm really, really excited to see a, a team get their hands on them and really refine that hand placement because they might have a star in the making. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on Graham Barton. If you did, throw a like down there. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty more content on the way very, very soon. I will catch you guys in the next video. Farewell.